If you go to any of the monasteries uh, throughout the country, Greek monasteries, or in Greece, or anywhere they are in the world, there are always cats involved. We have just shy of 10 acres here uh, on the property, and there's critters floating around, and we thought, what better way to uh, introduce uh, critter control than to bring some cats? Uh, and after we found out that these are cats that would have been normally euthanized, we're like, the decision's made, let's bring these cats on board. We've named them endearing names. The one here is Kukla. Kukla is a gray tabby. Kukla means doll in Greek, but it's more of an endearing, like she's a little kukla, she's a little cutie. And that's exactly what she is. Uh, she's very affectionate, but again, she's a cat that wasn't adoptable to go to a home inside. She still has her triggers that uh, you know she's, uh, she's an outdoor cat. And then we have Pondiki, who's taking a nap right now. Go figure, a cat taking a nap. But he's a, uh, a blonde Siamese. Uh, with gorgeous blue eyes and his name Pondiki means mouse but in Greek it's more of a he's a sneaky he's a character and that's what we've named him because he's a little bit of a character cats have to acclimate for about uh, four weeks here in the cage we're going to be releasing them soon uh, but what that process does is it teaches them that this is their home this is we're the ones who feed them uh, we're the ones that, that take care of them. We're the ones that are going to supply warmth and water and everything else that a cat needs to be comfortable. Uh, 